I showed you the actual candlestick. This is where my taper is going to start, my tight twist, and then my big twist. So now I'm going to stick it in the forge and work it out. There's going to be two tapers. The, the very end of it, I'm going to do that first taper to see how long I want the spike. And then I'm going to do what we call is necking it, which is make it really thin again, and then create the second taper. I'm going to try to do it all in one heat. It might or it might not work. I know I can at least taper it and get the neck done on the first one. I might have to do it again. a lot of my heat so I'm gonna heat it back up otherwise it's just gonna split on me okay I'm gonna taper it down just a little bit more than neck it see why I've got to taper it again. Just kind of blend it out. looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and heat it back up again so it'll twist like licorice on me. That way I don't have to work real hard. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. We're gonna do our tight twist first. Okay, so this goes in here. All right, so I'm gonna do my tight twist, which is right there, right on the spike. And you can kind of see where it's twisting real tight on me. Once I can get this thing to release. So I have my tight twist right there, right? So the thing about steel is where the thinnest metal is, it's going to keep going. So what I'm going to do, it's going to keep twisting until it possibly snaps. So then what I'm going to do is take it back out and I'm going to quench it in water right to there and then the rest of it will twist where it's hot. So then I quench to right about there. And you got to work fast. And now you can see where it's twisting up here. And you can always move your tool up a little bit. Because remember, it's going to twist between the tool and the where you have it. All right, so now I'm going to let it 
room cool and room temperature. That way I can still do what I want with it. Once you quench this, it gets hardened, it'll snap and break on you.